Have you been told that chickens and shade gardens don't mix? I'm telling you they can. I'm gonna share with you how we free range our chickens here on the farm, even though we have a shade garden. I'm also gonna give you one more important tip at the end of this video, so stick around. Here's a list of the plants that we have in our shade gardens. Now let's get to the tips. Tip number one, you are gonna to have to limit some access in early spring when plants are emerging. This is when they're at their most vulnerable. A good example of this was this last spring with my favorite Brunera. When I didn't see it emerging, I just assumed that it hadn't survived the winter. But when I took a closer look, I realized that my big girls were nibbling it down below the surface of the soil. This plant now lives in a pot Tip number two, limit the leaf damage. Our chickens prefer grass more than anything else. And we'll go for the grass first before they taste any of my other plants. So offering your chickens something that they like better can be a great option. Keep in mind that if you put any kind of chemicals on your grass, you'll be eating those in the eggs that your chickens provide you. So like I said before guys, in the spring, the chickens are more apt to start nibbling. So I did have to take about 10 leaves off that had some nibbles on them. Now let's take a look around and I'll show you some examples of the damage you can see. Looks like there's some on the end of this leaf right here. And what looks to be a spot right here. Only a little bit of damage here and a little bit here. These two hostas are in pots and they never get nibbled on. And tip number three, feed your chickens first. I know it sounds counterintuitive and a lot of people are going to disagree with me because a lot of times we free range to save on feed costs. But giving them feed before they head out to free range ensures that they get all the nutrients that they need. It also ensures that they're not ravenous when you first let them out the coop door and they head straight for your gardens first. The types of damage that you'll see on your plants is just around the edges of those be little nibbles here and there. If there's something that's in the middle, you're looking at some other type of pest. The chickens will just take nibbles out of the edges of leaves. Do you hear that? How am I supposed to tell you guys this information? with all this ruckus. Tip number four, protect the roots. So chickens love to dust bathe and they love to dig. How do we protect our plants? I'm gonna show you. There are two things that I use to cover the roots of my plants and protect them from my chickens when they dig. Most chicken owners already know what this is, but if you don't, it's a galvanized type of fencing called hardware cloth. This comes in a lot of sizes and lengths so it really can fit any budget. I cut these up with metal snips and then place them on the ground underneath my plants. I then put mulch on top of it. This stops the chickens from getting to the roots of your plants. My second method is just to place rocks at the base of the plants. This deters the chickens from digging, but it still allows the rain through. Tip number five, put your plants in pots. If nothing else is working, put your plants in pots. Not only is this beautiful, but if you elevate them, you get them out of reach of the chickens. And my bonus tip can help you with your predator plan. In this clip, you'll see that some of my chickens run under the hostas for protection while my rooster is sounding an alarm. And here you can see it's not really easy to see the chickens behind the gardens. So your gardens can be on the edge and help protect your chickens a little bit more. Seeing our chickens out in the yard in the wide open space can be such a joy, but your gardens can offer them a little bit more protection than probably you ever thought of. And if you don't yet have chickens, I'm hoping this is gonna help you decide. These are a lot of great tips to help you get started or to protect those plants that you absolutely love. This is our first video in a series of free ranging your chickens in the gardens. If you found this helpful, please subscribe, like, and share this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.
Thanks for visiting.